Hello guys, this is Liam 2.0 and welcome back to Tall Trees, yay! I absolutely love this series and I am so excited when I get to record one of these. So, let's get straight into this and there's something behind me, isn't there? I see an alley or something? Okay, so this is making me feel a little bit, um, a little bit not smart. There's been this alley here the whole time and I haven't gone down it. Actually, never mind. It's smart not to go down dark alleys. <laughs> like how close I am. But no, I am going to do it because I feel like there's something back here. If there's not something back here, I'll give every one of you a hundred dollars. There better be something down here. <laughs> okay, there's something down here. Okay, talk. Oh, skeleton head! Yes! So there are skeleton heads in really hidden locations, so they aren't all just sitting out there. That makes me feel better. Uh, talk. Here it is. Get lost, Perry. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you were that other hobo trying to steal my bed again. Hobo. He's a hobo. <laughs> On your way to tall trees, you're saying? If I had the money, I would come with you. Five years ago, I was living in that stone house behind you. I was the richest man of Skeleton Bay. The owner of the bank here uh, messed with me. Now he lives in my house and sleeps in my bed. Uh, but I only... Oh, come on. Wait, no, I need this. Okay. Um, where is it? Where were we? So this is an interesting story. We're talking to a hobo right now. Um, now he lives in my house and sleeps in my bed, but I have come up with a plan to take revenge. If you're willing to help me, I would be very happy. I wrote down my plans, I keep them under my bed. Please read them carefully and don't tell anyone about this. This is between you and me. Good luck. You know, I didn't even tell him if I was going to help him or not. He sort of just assumed I was. <laughs> he also read my mind. How did he know that I was going to tall trees? Okay. West started the big heist or heist, I don't know how to say it. Wooden shovel. Interesting, interesting. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Behind the counter of the bank is a ladder. It looks like an escape route for employees. If only I would know where it leads to, then I could get in from the other side of the bank. It would be a great pleasure to rob Mr. Greedo, the owner of the bank. I think I saw his house. His was the big netherrack one, was it? I forget. Um, uh, take the money for, out from his own vault. You can take this shovel. Maybe Mr. Greedo had a spare key under a jar. How? That's very specific. Maybe he hides a spare key under a jar. And then he says, once you're in, so he's just assuming that we are going to get in. Check for any documents regarding the escape shaft. Okay. So, this looks pretty cool. Also... Well, I can do this and get really close with you guys. I have a confession to make. In the last episode, if you didn't see it, I was searching for the tallest tree. And I watched the video back in editing, and I literally walked right past a sign that said, like, a tall tree, the tallest of them all, something like that. And then I turned away from it to kill a pig and didn't even notice it. How? Stupid, can I get? I'm so sorry guys, I'm sure you guys saw that yourselves and was yelling at me. So, I will do that quest uh, in the future, but for now, I've just started to quest a big heist. Oh! It was, it was stone, but uh, yeah, there was another rack inside, or another brick inside. So, how did he say I was supposed to get in his house? Um... Did he say, or I could just read that. So there's supposed to be a jar, like, outside, and I can... Oh, is it one of these? Is that what he means? Okay, let's try this. So I just spray this, this, yep, and we'll see if there's anything else over here. No, okay, so that's what it is. I think Mr. Greedo's... Oh, what? I found a spare key and placed it above the... Oh, what? Whoa! Magic! How did that happen? I, I was just talking a lot, talking away, and I opened the chest. It just says, "You found a spare key, and like you've opened the door." How? Why didn't they just give me like a lever? Why did they have to teleport in a button? I guess it could be all fancy. There we go. 
So this is a nice house, isn't it? See, nothing in the furnace. Maybe he isn't so rich. Whoa, that's interesting. Like that painting, love the custom resource pack. There's got to be something behind this. No? Aw. Okay, so... Uh, two staircases. I'll just take one of them. Oh, they both lead to the same place. Can I, am I allowed to take this? I need an emerald. I've got seven emeralds. I need to do something with these. How did I get that many emeralds? Interesting file. Very... <laughs> wow, very, um, specific. I've made sure that nobody will ever get inside my bank. Really? Why would you write this down? The shaft is guide- or- wait. I think it's supposed to say guarded night and day, so there is no way anyone will ever pass. The tunnel runs directly under house number six, but nobody knows about that. You know, sir, that's just a very strange thing to put to keep people away. Very strange. Okay, let's try to get out of this house, and I will replace his uh, stuff, otherwise he's probably going to come home and notice, right? I'll keep the flowers, because who knows? Maybe I'll need flowers for some reason. I really doubt it. But house number six, where would that be? I'm assuming it's all the way back over here, because that was house number 14. So this is interesting. I love that we're getting to do a quest just inside the town, I didn't have to go anywhere. Um, house number seven. House number six is the one I couldn't find, wasn't it? Uh, let's climb back up this house and see if there's anything up on here. Oh, skeleton! Heads! What? How did I miss that? There's skeleton skulls sitting right there. On that, on that balcony thing up there. I need to go get those. And then we're almost to, um, 20. I think there was three of them? That's amazing. If I get those, I'll be so close. But how do I get up there? No! No, you're joking. I fell down again? I can't believe it's already been eight minutes, but to be fair, we have to start the quest and stuff. Here they are. Here they are. But I can't turn... Uh, no, no. How do I get up there? Oh, here's storage C, where we can uh, mine and stuff if we get that iron pickaxe from the captain. Can I go up here? I'm really sorry, map, but I just can't get up here. No. What? How am I supposed to do this? Uh, I'm here. Where can I get to from here? I'll break these leaves. Sorry, map. Sorry, map. I know it's probably cheating. I just needed a quicker way to get out of his house. Okay, we're on Greedo's house. Greedo's a Star Wars character, isn't he? <laughs> okay, let's try to do parkour. I cannot do computer parkour warning. So this is going to go very badly. Ooh, I did it. Okay, so what's... How was I supposed to get up here? I don't even know, do these count? If I find more than 20, then I'm guessing they don't count, but... Oh, come on, these must have counted. Like, why would they put them here? Okay, well, ouch. That hurt. Let's see here. Number 10. Where's house number 6? Look, I'll find house number 6, and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I was just being really stupid, actually. I actually visited this house. It was just the sign was so hidden because of this roof. I didn't see it, but it is right here. House number six is here. Nobody freak out. I actually found it. I'm pretty sure you guys, uh, if you notice that, are going to be, like, telling me off in the comments. Um, tunnel runs under this house. You're joking. Is this the one where I saw that trap door? Really? Really? I saw this trap door. So I'm guessing I'm allowed to break the bed, because there's no other way to get down here. I can't believe I missed this. Oh, so unfair. Where does this go? Oh, this must be the real entrance. I get it. And there's guards. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Not doing anything. Sorry, guards. Sorry. There are actually guards down there. Okay, let's see here. Every digit can only be used once in a combination of four? What? Oh no. Uh. Did. 
Did he say that there was going to be a passcode? Um, I mean, I could just do this, but I'm guessing there was a hint, right? Like, it couldn't just send me down here without not knowing anything. Was I supposed to get in from that way? I'm so confused right now. Um, I didn't know there was going to be a passcode. Did that book in his house say anything about there being a passcode? How am I supposed to get past that? Let's go back into Mr. Greedo uh, from Star Wars' house. And, of course, the door slams in my face. And let's go see if there was a hint in here. Um, I broke his beds. Um, I'm very polite, I know. Was there anything else in this book that was interesting? No, there's not a code in there. And I'll check this book one more time. It didn't say anything in here. I don't know, I don't think I'm allowed to break anything else, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Was there something downstairs that I missed, possibly? Okay, I just had to break that just to make sure that there was nothing behind it because I need to know if I need to find a button or something. So whatever, you have a different painting now, hopefully you don't notice. I am so confused. Let me try to work this out and I'll be back, okay? <laughs> be back in a second. So I was um, trying to work this out and I accidentally broke one of the blocks, so... Um, I'm going to have to do is I have to break this one as well and then collect the buttons, place this redstone torch back on the back of this block and then somehow get out of here. I could also figure out what the combination is. Uh, <laughs> well, I happen to be here. I can't tell. If I was able to fly, I could probably look at it. But how am I going to get out of here as well? I need to think about that. blocks, so like that and that, and what is the combination? I can't even see from here. Um, well, I guess I'm going to have to work it out because I, I looked around the entire town I couldn't find like any hints. So these pistons extend, powering that redstone, which should turn these redstone torches off. In what order are they needing to be in? Okay, I am so, so sorry. I am going to cheat. Uh, there we go. I said it. I'm going to cheat. I don't know what in the world I'm supposed to do here. So, unfortunately, I have to cheat. So if I just break this and this and place that torch there, it should uh, toggle an AND gate. Or maybe just uh, another torch under the doors. And yep, that should have opened them. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I didn't want to have to spend the entire episode sitting there trying to type in random combinations. Oh, that's so cool. I'm behind the counter now. <laughs> I've been out there. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, that guy, the guy in the pirate ship who said this was the safest place to store your money. Not actually. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Uh, empty. Why does it say what's empty and full? That just makes it very convenient for robbers. I think I said Jake Jr. Jack Jr. Oh, he's the guy who um gave us that quest. I remember that. Okay, let's go to the next. Let me throw away this redstone bits. Put in my inventory. Uh, who is this? William. I think we talked to him. Pumpkin pie. I needed that because I am always low on food. Alan. Ooh, we're getting so many emeralds. Compass. Uh, do I need a compass? Well, I guess if they gave it to me, I'll take it. Empty. I will check the empty ones too, just in case. Quest completed. The big heist. I got two diamonds. Two diamonds. Do you know what that means? You know what that means? Yes. I can get a diamond sword! Yes! That's amazing! And look how many emeralds I have! At the end of this episode, I am just gonna go splurge all my emeralds. So let's see. 
You've made it inside the vault. Grab Mr. Greedo's money and escape through the hole you just made it. Uh, you just made in what? Hole you just made in house number six. Oh, I was, I was confused. Um, give the diamonds to the hobo to receive your reward. Oh, I have to give him the diamonds? What if I want the diamonds? Oh, that's hard. And sorry, I know how dark it is. It's like super dark. Empty. And... Ooh, lots of arrows. Oh, so that's how you take everything from a chest. So if I go like that, and then I just like, how did I do that? I just took everything. Okay, I have no idea how I'm doing that, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know how to do that. Mr. Ooh. It's funny, his name's Goldsteinberg or whatever, and he's got gold. Okay, so I will try to empty my inventory just a little bit. Uh, we can put... I don't want to put away that fishing rod, and I want to keep all the riches and stuff. Um... I should probably start throwing away these books sometimes. Uh, we'll throw away the local newspaper because that was a long time ago. And I can get rid of the quest complete and the big heist because I just did those. And what else? Biologist letter I want to keep. We should keep that. Uh, we can put away that. And the prison. Actually, what the prisoners say? I, can I can't remember. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. I completely forgot he said that. That's really cool. We, uh, the path to tall trees thing. I'll keep the these three books because I'll still need those. Uh, sorry if this episode has been going on a lot longer, but I really, really enjoy this series. So let's run back to here. Um, uh, I guess I'll go back down to here. I was going to say I could just break out of this glass, but nope. They're stone bricks, so I can't. And... I don't know what I was supposed to do here. Maybe out of episode I'll come back, or maybe when I finish this series I'll try to get on creative. And uh, see, here's where I took the blocks from, by the way. <laughs> that uh, doorway. And hopefully the people will notice. Let's get out of here. And, wow. That was a long episode. Uh, it, was long, a little, it was a lot longer for me than it was for you. So... Of course, it's cut down for you guys when I, like, looked for, um, the, what do you call it? The, the uh, house number six and stuff like that, and I was trying to work out the code. So hopefully it won't be too long for you guys. I think it's still pretty long. Okay, let's see here. Oh. I see. That's so... Oh, I, you know what? I've got an idea. It said that there's a possibility you can collect five ladders. So if I happen to come across four without getting this one, then I can keep these diamonds. So I won't get my ladder yet, which is unfortunate. I'd like to end the episode on a, yay, I got a ladder note. But um, no, uh, unfortunately we can't do that. Let's go to someone and spend some emeralds though, because I've got way too many. Uh, this is house number six, of course. I happened to walk into that one. Get uh, a house! Hey, hey, can I have a house? Well, that would be cool. Let's throw in two emeralds and get a house. So, one, two. Enjoy your stay at Skeleton Bay. Ha, <laughs> I see what they did there. Enjoy your stay at Skeleton Bay. That rhymes. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, and the angry sailor's in there. I need to remember that if I get uh, 20 skulls. Um, the blacksmith. Uh, what could I get from him? I forgot, I think it was some armor. How much was that? Oh, the armor was expensive. Don't want to get that. I don't think I'll need the armor, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I do remember one of the first things it said was, um, there was a, a mine full of googlies or something. Oh! That is hilarious. Shirk at RCN's house. <laughs> that is cool that the sign changed. Uh, okay, let's see here. I've got some coal. Uh, seeds in a hoe. That's not actually that good. But at least I have a bed to sleep in. Is there something out here? Please be something out here. Nope. Seriously, just a little pool. Oh, I see! It's a sustainous, uh, a sustainable food supply. If I grab the seeds in the hoe, 
I can, um, I can start planting things and growing wheat, so when I come back from a mission, I'll have some food. Okay, well, I see what they're doing here. Okay, well, that's good. I'll leave my hoe in here because I won't need it off the tree. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Um, oh, that's good to know. I, uh, hey, hey, come back. Uh, I'll get some, um, uh, torches from you just because I have a ton of emerald. Okay, I've got the, I've got the, um, uh, torches. Sorry, I don't know what just happened there. Uh, we can get some more. Oops. Eh. Get back your torch. Can I can I get the torch back? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'll get uh I don't need more pork chops yet, because I have this food. So I think that's it for this episode. I am so sorry about how long that was. I know that that was a super long episode compared to the other ones. Uh, the next episode, I will be going to um track down inheritance. I'm gonna give that guy in the tower behind me his flint and steel because I did sort of steal his emeralds, so, um, yeah, I'll get his prize, and so hopefully the next episode will be just as adventure-filled uh, adventure as this one. So I am really, really, really loving this series. Again, sorry it was such a long episode. Um, hopefully you guys will join me for the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!